Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. In this video, we're going to talk about restarting containers with Docker Compose. So Docker containers can fail and crash unexpectedly. Therefore, Docker has restart policies to manage these container failures. We can configure Docker's restart policy with the restart attribute as shown right here. This restart attribute accepts four different options. It accepts always, and this means it will always restart the container on termination. We have no, which means never restart the container. And this is also the default restart policy. We have on failure, which means restart the container if the container exits with an error exit code. So for example, such as any non-zero value like one, whereas a non-error exit code would be zero. And then finally we have unless stopped, which this does the same as always, but it will not restart a manually stopped, con stopped container after the Docker daemon restarts. And so let's demonstrate each of these. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna create a Docker container using Docker Compose with this Docker file. And what this Docker file does is it just creates an image that copies over a script that will loop every second and echo out the current iteration before echoing exiting and then giving an exit code and specifically an error exit code. And we're gonna create this container by using this Docker Compose.yaml file and the first one I want to demonstrate is always. So we can just run this with docker compose up and let's see what happens. All right, sweet. So we can see our container has been created and we can see how it keeps exiting and then it'll just restart. So once again, it's exited again. And because we have this set to restart always, it'll just keep doing this forever. And now let's change this. So let's change it from always to no. And if we run this now, we can see we've started up again and we exited. We exited with error code one and we didn't restart. Next, let's demonstrate this on failure. And remember this will restart a container if it exits with an error exit code. So like we have right here. So it should restart it in this case. So we're getting to the end, we're exiting and we're restarting. Sweet, but now let's change it. So this will be exit code of zero. And so I'm gonna remove the image, which is called restart example. So we can rebuild our image and we'll rebuild it right now. Sweet, and so we're looping through, we exit, and because the exit code is zero, we just exit out. So on failure, that's how that works. And we can actually also limit the number of times the Docker daemon attempts to restart the container by appending a number at the end. So say we do on failure three, like this. Let's change this back to an error exit code, and let's remove our containers, remove our image again so it can be recreated. And if we run this, what we should get now is it should restart three times before eventually just giving up. So here's the first one. Here's our second restart. Here's our third restart. And then we've exited. So we tried three times and if it didn't work, we just give up. And now the final one to demonstrate is unless stopped, which remember this does the same as always. So it's actually not really much to see here. It only does, the only difference is that if we manually stop the container, it won't be restarted even after the Docker daemon starts, which is not the case if we use always. But so that's it with this. However, there is also a, another attribute we can use, which is called restart policy. And so setting this restart policy attribute will replace the restart attribute. So it will replace the one that we used previously. And this attribute is actually essentially the same as the restart attribute, just with a few more options. And I'll paste these in right here. So these are condition, delay, max attempts, and window. And so condition right here is either on failure, none, or any. And none right here means the containers are not restarted regardless of exit status. So same as no. Then we have on failure, which is the same as before. So the container is restarted if it exits with a non-zero exit code. And then we have any, which means that the container is restarted regardless of the exit status. And any is actually the default value. Then we have, these are some extra configuration options. So we have delay, which is how long to wait between restart attempts. The default value for this is zero, but we set it as five seconds here. Then we have max attempts, which is the number of retry attempts before giving up. So it's similar to using on failure, like we used with restart. And then we have window, which is how long to wait before deciding if a restart has succeeded. And the default is just immediately, so it's decided immediately. 
but these options are essentially the same as the ones we saw previously, except for the presence of this delay and window offering slightly more customization. But this is all I wanted to show on Docker's restart policies. If you want to consider supporting me, please download my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link in the description. Give me a good review on it. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you next one. Have a good one.